Whether he was playing charades with family and friends, dancing, or just being silly, Cornelius Jones was always the life of the party. <laughs> but around 9.30 Wednesday night, Jones was shot and killed in his fourth floor carriage place apartment in Pontiac, a stunning and unspeakable loss for his family. He was all about family, you know, just loving one another and lifting one another up and making each other laugh. That's all he was about. Jones was murdered around 9.30 Wednesday night by a 22-year-old acquaintance who was visiting with several others. Witnesses tell investigators the man spit in Jones's kitchen sink, so Jones told him that was disrespectful and to leave. But instead of just walking out, the man became agitated and opened fire on Jones, shooting him multiple times and then running away. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around the whole situation on how or even why it happened. I'm a strong believer of God, and I do believe that God chose him to come home. Whatever situation or scenario he used to bring my brother home, that's what he chose to use. Using a drone and tracking dogs, Oakland County Sheriff deputies were able to locate and arrest the suspected shooter and another man described as an accomplice. At the end of the day, God has the last word and Corn, Cornelius, Jones, he will have justice. Jones leaving behind three children. His family says he didn't have life insurance, so they've started to go fund me for help with burial expenses for the man who made a lasting impact on so many. Very humble, very given, friendly, accepted all. He didn't have much, but what he did have, he gave. He gave <laughs> willingly. He gave sparingly. Yes, he, he gave graciously. In Pontiac, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.